And so we find ourselves again at the start of our iconic yearly road trip from India to London. There's something mystical about a journey by road. They are a record of those who have gone before and those who are yet to be free. All you really need is a wheel in your hand and four on the road. Since 2017, Adventures Overland has made iconic memories on our yearly retreat to London. And this year was another one for the record books. From Mumbai to Iran, Turkey to Eastern Europe, all the way to North Cap, the northernmost point in Europe, Western Europe and finally London. A journey of 55 days to our final destination. This is the road we traveled. This is the road to London 2022. This year, the road to London started with a bit of a sail, straight to the heartland of the ancient Persian Empire, Iran. In this leg of the tour, we will ride through the historical wonder of Iran all the way to the land of four seasons, Turkey. With our four-wheel partners reaching safe and sound, it was time for a good night's sleep. first impression of iran is uh, absolutely mind blowing uh, it's my first uh, time in iran and we are starting road to london from bandarabas which is a big port in iran first impression is the people of iran are super friendly super helpful and uh, we are loving the food here uh, we are very excited because we finally got our cars and tomorrow morning we start our drive towards shiraz What awaited us on day 2 was the journey we so yearn for. From the port town of Bandarabas, it was time to head to Shiraz. And so we set sail, 10 cars and 23 of us on a journey that would forever leave a mark on the story of our lives. One of the oldest metropolis of the mighty Persian Empire. Shiraz is known as the city of poets literature and flowers and also that very famous wine shiraz immortalized in the poetry of hafiz and home to the magnificent sea salt lake of maharlu from shiraz it was time to head to city number 2 isfahan the history of which dates back to the might of the persian empire once one of the largest cities in the world with the ranks of rome athens and probably way grander than london famous for its pseudo islamic architecture covered bridges palaces and minarets as we took in all the wonder of everything around it was time to refuel our tanks and today's fuel of choice was some delicious kebabs When in Persia, do as the Persians do, and it's never really a bad time for a kebab party. Isfahan was uh, stunning, beautiful. Uh, built about 400 years ago, we walked around the Naqsh e Jahan Square. Uh, it was uh, we saw the blue, the beautiful blue mosque with the lit peacock feathers. Um yeah it was it was just stunning it was definitely one of the highlights of the Iran trip so far With our stomachs full to our hearts content it was time to drive a little further deep into history into Persepolis Persepolis a UNESCO World Heritage Site which served as the ceremonial capital of the mighty Persians renowned as the gem of the Persian Empire It displays the architectural might of the Persians and was the palace for the King of Kings as he was called Darius the 1st. With all the historical splendor soaked up, our four-wheeled beasts beckoned to get back on the road. This time to the capital of modern-day Iran, Tehran. 
one of the most beautiful cities in the country. Tehran is a show of might of the grand history of Iran and its place in the center of the world. Artisans, bazaars, the smell of kebabs and Persian delicacies will leave you wanting more, way more. Iran is famous for many things, but most of all its intricate and delicate weaving of things that, well, every living room needs one of, the Persian carpet. While some were carpet shopping, others knew where to find their pleasures. Some with more kebabs, while some at the local bazaar. There's no trip without a birthday bash, so we all took a minute off the road to celebrate Milan's birthday in a special Iranian style. The world is full of wonder and more often than not, we spend our times making bucket list of discovering all of its wonders. Iran deserves a spot on your bucket list. A wealth of history, the warmth of its culture and people and the wonders of the Persian Empire. Need we say more? We reached Iran border at 11.30 and uh, it took us four hours to clear the customs and immigration and then another two hours uh, at the Turkey immigration. But now finally, this is our country number two. We have crossed the border, the convoy is coming from the gate and uh, we'll be in, for seven days we'll be in Turkey. Good morning and uh, welcome to Turkey. We have finished Iran and yesterday we entered Turkey and the world has changed in many ways. Uh, there are no more restrictions in Turkey and uh, the weather has changed drastically and for the next seven days we're going to be driving from East Turkey to West Turkey. With country number one all but done, it was time for a little Turkish baklava as we set sights on to Turkey, the bridge between Middle East and Europe. The gateway to Europe, Turkey has forever been at the center of two worlds. Our first stop in Turkey was the city of Van on the eastern shore of Lake Van. Crystal clear water, a bright beaming sun and a day off from all the driving. Everyone deserved a little rest and relaxation. Some with the water on a cruise and some with Turkish cats. From Van, we made our way to Adiyaman. Think folk songs, folk dancers and Turkish tunes. We met some midway traffic on the road or as some in Turkey call it, dinner. In Adiyaman, we took a morning hike to Mount Nemru one of the highest peaks of the Eastern Taurus range and explored the area around. We are at an altitude of 2,256 meters high, the heritation of Komagenian King, King Antiochus, Nemrut, with the, the home of the gods. This is the highest point of Upper Mesopotamia and the tomb of King Antiochus Theos, the king of Homogenian Kingdom. That's it for this time on the road to London 2022. Up next is the city of hot air balloons, sunsets, love and all its wonder, Cappadocia. But till then, as always, more kebabs. <laughs>